and Ramirez here on NBC Sports World will be back to take a close-up look at both fighters in just a moment. Back in San Juan, Puerto Rico, we're moments away from fight time. Edwin Rosario defending his WBC lightweight championship against Jose Luis Ramirez. It was May of 1983 when they met here in San Juan for the championship. Rosario with that early advantage in the bout. Ramirez came on strong in the final rounds, and Rosario won by decision. A decision that was questioned by Ramirez and his people. So today, a second chance for the 25-year-old Ramirez against Edwin Rosario. This past March, Rosario back in the ring after a 10-month layoff, and he stopped Roberto Elizondo in the first round to defend his title. This past June, another title defense, another decision that was questioned with Rosario defeating Howard Davis, knocking Davis down twice in the bout. Jose Luis Ramirez has lost only four times in 88 bouts, one of the losses at the hands of Ray Mancini. But today, Ramirez presented with a title shot once again. I mean, it's the last time you faced the champion, you waited too long. You waited until the final four rounds, and then it looked like you were going to blow him out of the water. But it was only a 12-round fight, and he maintained his championship. How are you going to fight differently this time? Well, I'm going to start out in the first round and fourth fight right off the bell. And then last time, I didn't throw punches in the first round. That's why I didn't win. Champ, the last time you fought Ramirez, you started out like a house of fire, and then you ran out of gas for the last four rounds. People thought if it was a 15-round fight, you would have lost the title instead of 12 rounds. Are you going to do anything different this time? Yes, but for this fight, it's going to be a little different. In the first fight, I had a long layoff, and I also had an injured hand with 13 months of the layoff. So it stopped me from getting to the final. And this time, I'm going to win the fight mentally and physically. And we'll finish this fight any way we can with a knockout. And here is Jose Luis Ramirez in the ring. Ramirez, Mexico's answer to Sean O'Grady with 88 pro fights at the end. with a fight in a moment. Back in San Juan, Puerto Rico, where it has been raining on and off, Marv Albert and Freddy Pacheco were just about set for fight time, so let's go to the ring and pick it up with the ring announcer, B.B. Marrero. Representado esta tarde aquí por el deportista Art Lurie. La Comisión de Boxeo de Puerto Rico, representada por Agustín Martínez. En la esquina roja de México, pesando 135 libras, con récord de 88 triunfos y solo cuatro reveses. Con truza roja, el retador número uno del título, José Luis Ramírez. José Luis Ramírez, 84 and 4, 70 by knockout. He's a southpaw. In fact, in the last meeting against Rosario, Rosario had difficulty with the southpaw stance of Ramírez. And instead of moving away from the left hand, move clockwise, going right into it. And the hometown product, 21-year-old Edwin Rosario from Toro Baja, Puerto Rico. Okay, gentlemen, we've been over the rules in the dressing room. <laughs> I intend to enforce them. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to listen to me. May the best man win. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. And the referee is Texan Steve Crossan. 
scoring on the 10-point must system. The judges, Rudy Ortega from California, Chuck Cassett out of California, Tony Castellano from New York. Edwin Rosario defending his WBC lightweight championship against Jose Luis Ramirez. A three knockdown rule is waived. There is a mandatory eight, no standing eight, and the bell does not save the fighter. Let's go. 
Stadium in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The doctor from the WBC came in, examined Ramirez, said he's okay, he's talking well, his reflexes are good, and he let him go back out. out of the WBC Super Bantamweight Championship fight with one kid Mesa stopping Jaime Garza in the first round going in Garza 40 and 0 38 by knockout and uh, oh he just hit Rosario Rosario's legs folded what a turnaround so here is Ramirez back and has Rosario in difficulty
side. Rosario, what a shot by Ramirez, right there, Rosario's in trouble. 30 seconds left in the world, and Rosario in big trouble. Ramirez looking to put Rosario down. Rosario trying to hold on, and he doesn't know how. He's holding the rope. And it's all over. Well, it's all over. It's all over. Steve Wilson has pulled the fight. Bastante fuerte, me, me sorprendió con una derecha muy fuerte, no la miré, me levanté un poco lastimado, pero gracias a Dios me repuse. I asked him if he was surprised in the first round, he said yes, by a right hand which I couldn't avoid most of the fight, I got up dizzy, but I was able to continue. Tú tenías esperanza de recuperarte en los dos o tres rounds como hiciste. Sí, porque ya me conozco, aguanto bastante castigo, él es el segundo peleador que me tumba después de Rubén Olivares. He said, I asked him whether he thought he could recover from those two early knockdowns. He said, yes, I've only been knocked down twice in my 80-some-odd career, and this was the second man to knock me down, and I thought I could come back and recover. Pensaste que pudiste noquear al campeón en tan fácil? Sí, porque pego bastante regular, y luego este ya lo conocía, y es un peleador muy fuerte. I asked him if he thought he could knock out Rosario. He said, yes, I'm a heavy banger, and I knew if I could get to him, I could knock him out. Revancha, puede ser. Como no, él, como él me la dio, yo también se la doy. Rematch, can it be? And the champion says, yes. As Rosario gave me the chance, I am going to give him the chance at a rematch, and it should be a barn burner. Rosario, esta pelea muy fuerte. Tú estabas confiado en los primeros dos rounds que iba a ganar fácil. No, no estuve confiado, porque yo sé que es un peleador muy fuerte. Como todos acabamos de ver, pues, el primer asalto, los primeros asaltos hasta el... 
cuarto asalto que creo que fue terminó la pelea estuvimos entre dos peleadores fuertes que cualquiera de los dos podría, podría haber un knockout de cualquiera de los dos I asked him if he was confident after the first and second rounds that he had this fight under control he said no when you're in a fight with a man of this caliber you know it's not over until you see the final bell unfortunately in the fourth round he got knocked out and we see in the replay ahí se puede ver como tiraste a Ramírez en, el, en la pelea pensabas que esa derecha recta siempre estaba entrando lo podías noquear con él bueno siempre le estuvo entrando a la derecha es que a casi todos los zurdos le entra a la recta de derecha y a él más o menos es un peleador que no tiene defensa un peleador que es fuertísimo pero no es defensivo I asked him if that straight right hand which was doing the damage could be repeated and did he think it would end up the fight with that right hand he said yes this is a lefty that can get hit by the right hand and therefore he thought he could get him out la revancha lo quieres creo que se abrió una, una revancha yo sería el vencedor all right the rematch yes he wants it just as he gave it to him he wants it back it should be a tremendous fight and now back to marv albert at ringside all right Ferdy, 252 the time round four on a rainy day in san juan puerto rico a new champion has been crowned jose Luis.